So you want to study mechanical engineering. You've heard that engineering school is hard and you want to prepare yourself in the best way possible by picking up some skills beforehand. But which skills should you learn that will really help you get through your studies? Quick warning, this is not going to be your typical programming and CAD advice video. These skills that I'm about to tell you are going to take you much further than that. So if you're serious about studying mechanical engineering, you better keep watching. <laughs> Hey and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a German mechanic engineer based in Sweden. Today I'm going to give you my top 5 skills that you should learn before studying mechanical engineering. And if you're already studying mechanical engineering, you will still benefit from picking up these skills to get you through the rest of your studies and they might even help you perform better later on the job. Skill number one. <laughs> Googling and YouTubing. This might sound ridiculous, <laughs> but knowing how to find the knowledge you need is one of the most important skills you will need as an engineering student and even later as an engineer. And the first step is to be aware that you have these amazing possibilities in the first place. Now, if you're watching this video, you're already doing pretty well on this one because you figured out that you can learn stuff on the internet and this alone will give you a leg up compared to your classmates. Now, I did not do this nearly enough during my studies and it did lead to a lot of problems. <laughs> For example, and this is a little bit of an embarrassing story. I didn't know what a transmission was until like one and a half years into my engineering studies. And I had been designing transmissions for my classes for at least one year at this point. But I didn't dare to ask and I didn't think to Google it until I finally did. It really helps to understand the stuff that you're working on, that you're designing. So whenever you don't understand something, I want you to type it into Google immediately immediately don't understand a lecture look up a video that explains it better don't know a mechanical term type it into google picture search and see what it is don't know how to manage a project find a website that explains the project management process and chances are you're going to find additional knowledge along the way that you wouldn't have learned in your lectures but that can help you connect different pieces of information and just make you more knowledgeable as an engineer most people don't think to use the internet to its full potential so this can be your superpower Right. Skill number two, your portfolio of study methods. Mechanical engineering studies are a pretty wild mix of different ways in which you need to learn and remember the material. For some subjects, you really need to develop a deep understanding of things, while for others, you just need to be able to recall a bunch of facts. Therefore, it will be invaluable for you to develop a portfolio of different study methods that you can pull from for the different types of exams you have to take. Of course, you don't have to have this perfectly figured out when you're starting out with your studies, but it will be essential to start consciously thinking about in which way you want to study for each of your exams to get the most bad for your book or the most results for your study time. So the number one piece of advice I can give you for selecting the right study method for each exam is to study in exactly the same way that you will need to perform at the exam or at least get as close as possible to that. You need to simply recall information to answer questions, formulate questions that cover all of the material and then test yourself until you can answer them all perfectly. You need to solve math problems. There's no use in learning anything by heart. Just solve as many damn math problems as possible. You need to explain in complex systems, try out different methods that help you connect the information and see which ones work best for you. Maybe it's a sketch, a mind map, a flow diagram, or just a list of bullet points. You will have to study and recall a lot of information during your studies. And while it's ideal to get it into your long-term memory, I sometimes had to binge study because I just had too many exams around the same time. It was a total game changer for me to have a reliable study method that would work both long-term and short-term without wasting any time. I have a video explaining my study method in full detail, which I'm gonna link down below, but to quickly summarize it, I formulate as many short and simple questions as possible to cover the entire material that I need to study. And then I create digital flashcards for each question with its answer. And by the way, I usually do that during the lecture time. <laughs> and then I just study them in different intervals, depending on how difficult they are for me until I have learned them all. So I use the class time to prepare my study materials and then I can use my actual study time for actual studying. So check out the full tutorial if you want to try out the study method. Skill number three. Understanding basic mechanical components and principles. It will help you out a lot to keep up with the pace of engineering school if you can cover basic mechanical components and principles beforehand. Even just having heard the vocabulary already will make your classes that much easier to follow, less intimidating and less confusing. So here I'm talking about components like transmissions, motors, gears, basically all components related to a car's powertrain. And while you're at it, why not understand how the entire car works? It also helps to know different kinds of documents that engineers work with, like technical drawings and 
requirement specifications. And then just understanding the very basic mechanical principles can also be very helpful. Basically, you could just Google off these things and find tons of websites that explain these mechanical components and principles in a lot of detail and in very easy words. I did make a short transmission for dummy segment as part of my video on five things I wish I knew before studying mechanical engineering, which I'm also gonna link down below if you have no idea what a transmission is and want to get a basic understanding. Do let me know if you want me to make a video explaining all of these principles and components. It's gonna be a lot of work to put that together, so I wanna make sure that people are actually interested before I make it. So leave a comment below if you wanna see that. Skill number four, mathematics. If I had to guess, I would say that at least 90% of engineering students struggle the most with math during their engineering studies, along with classes like thermodynamics, electrical engineering, and control theory, which all involve a lot of, you guessed it, math. And even though you can find engineering jobs that involve very little math, you cannot get around it in engineering school. The main types of math you're gonna have to learn are calculus, linear algebra, and differential equations. So do yourself a favor and spend a few hours on YouTube trying to understand each of these different types of math just to give yourself a head start. Even if you don't fully get it afterwards, that's completely fine. But just having heard all of the terms before and having thought about it and maybe even formulating the things that you don't yet understand can make a huge difference in your success in these classes. I know that some universities also offer like a summer crash course in mathematics for new engineering students before the official semester starts. So you can also consider joining those if you feel that you might struggle a lot with the math courses. And then just do your homework and do it right. Like don't cheat and look at the answers before you figured it out. And that's really how to get through it. Skill number five, your productivity system. In the university, you will potentially for the first time ever be responsible for your own learning progress and completing your assignments and taking all the mandatory classes and passing your exams. Chances are that no one will tell you what to do or when to do it. And it's easy to get lost and start studying too late and miss important deadlines or forget to register for or a mandatory class on time. So if you can start out with a very basic productivity system, that can take a huge amount of stress off of you. So here are the four basic things that I think you should have in your productivity system. The first thing is a calendar, ideally a digital one so that you can import your class schedule if your university offers this. You can never accidentally forget it at home and you can always save all of your classes with the right room. Also be sure to add any deadlines and holidays and external appointments to never miss anything. And a bonus tip for your calendar. At the beginning of the semester, professors will usually tell you their office hours where you can reach them outside of classes and ask questions and so on. And you never know when you're gonna need this so if you can just add these into your calendar, maybe create them as a separate calendar that you can hide while you don't need it, and then you can unhide it when you do need it. This will be life-changing. The second thing you should have is a central to-do list. So this is one place where you collect all of the things you need to do. I can recommend Trello for this one, but it really doesn't matter. You can use any type of application or even a notebook if you prefer pen and paper. Just be sure to have just one central place to collect all of your to-dos and not have some of them in notebooks some of them in random post-it notes and some of them on different applications on your computer. And if any of your to-dos have a deadline, make sure to include that as well on the list and ideally also put that into your calendar. And then just be sure to go through it regularly and also delete any things that are no longer relevant. The third thing you should have in your productivity system is folders on your computer for each of your classes to collect all of the class materials, assignments, digital notes, and additional materials that you come across as part of the class so that you always know where they are and that you can reference them later, even years later when you're taking a different class but finding that something from this class could help you out. This has saved me more times than I can count. So basically just create a folder for each new semester that you're starting and then in that folder you can have one folder for each class that you're taking in that semester and then in each class folder I might have a folder for lecture slides, a folder for literature, a folder for homework assignments and a folder for exam preparation and then maybe some more folders for whatever else was going on in that class. And the final thing you might want to have in your productivity system is a physical folder for each of your classes. This is to save any physical notes, handouts and so on in one central place. I actually just use these cheap sort of foil folders, not sure how to call them, I'll just put up a picture. They just have one compartment and I could just 
dump all of the papers in there, put a piece of tape on top of it with the name of the class so I can remember which is which. I didn't really need to reference them too often. This was mainly just like me doing exercises or taking notes during the class that I might want to look through once when I'm preparing my study material. So I didn't need to have like a big folder where I can sort everything. I could just like put it in one place. But you can figure out what's the best physical way to save them for you. And then after the semester was finished, I just went through each of these folders and scanned everything that I wanted to save and then get rid of all of the papers and made room for the next class. I think if you just have these four things as your basic productivity system, a calendar, a central to-do list, digital folders and physical folders for your classes, you'll take away a lot of stress and potential problems from your studies. Like I mentioned earlier, feel free to check out my video on how I remember everything for my engineering exams, where I go through my favorite study method in full detail. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay. Bye bye.